you're not worried that the America is going to end up on the wrong side of history by, by this careful ap approach in the Middle East and have more, at the end of the day, more enemies, uh, in, because if this is spreading, and, and I remember that you actually made it a point to pay dissidents in Eastern Europe. Yes, speak up, speak up. That you made it a point to, to pay dissidents in Eastern Europe in your time uh, for, for, you know, to revolt, actually. And, and so that was our question. Is that what you mean? What do you mean? In, in the, when you, uh, America actually paid dissidents in Poland. Paid? Yeah, didn't you? I mean, you financed them. Well, we supported them. I don't want to say we financed them. We supported them. They came into being on their own, and then we helped them, yeah. But you haven't done that in Egypt in the same way. Well, but we knew whom we were financing. Now, would you go over in a helicopter to Tahrir Square and just drop dollars <laughs> on the square? Is that your idea? No, it's not idea. Okay, so you have a better idea than that. No, no. What is it? I'm just wondering if America has had the right approach for a long time, if you're not ending now with this careful approach still that you're supporting the wrong guys. That you might well, end who, up with who's the, the good guy? That is maybe the the, the need for democracy that uh, many American <laughs> presidents have uh, have uh, have talked about, but then supported the, the dictators uh, at the same time. Well, I think you're sort of nearing a little bit. Let's be specific. <coughs> if we're going to talk about Egypt, let's be specific. If we're going to talk about Central Europe, let's be specific. We knew what we were doing in Central Europe. We had people and movements that were really for democracy. Mm -hmm that partook of democratic roots. And in the case of solidarity, you had an alliance between trade unions, intellectuals, the church, and some parts of the army. They were secretly helping us too. So we knew what we were doing. Now, the problem in Egypt is that we have an amorphous mass that's rebelling against the dictatorship. So our sympathies are with them. But how do we translate that into a democratic takeover? That is the challenge. And then one has to go beyond slogans on that. One has to have, as I keep repeating, a political process of some sort. Unless you want to have just bloodshed on the streets. And if you want bloodshed on the streets as a way of getting to victory, then you have to calculate what are the chances that those guys will prevail. My guess is if you have blood on the street, they're not going to prevail. The army will prevail. And then you're going to get a Pinochet type of regime. Is that what you want in Egypt? <laughs>